Dana I'm in Gallup New Mexico and I'm with I'm Jennifer the tourism and marketing manager for Gallup and we want to go through a little bit of an overview because as we've been in the park chit-chatting about our days and where we've been and everything we've seen I think it's so important to hit the highlights for you and it all kind of started the minute Jen picked me up at the airport with my kids an hour away from the airport and well, I really thought it was the greatest photo opportunity on Route 66, I don't quite remember, what was it called? So we were in Grants, New Mexico with the Route 66 Neon Arch. It's got a great park around it. You can actually drive your car right through it and take a whole photo shoot. So that was our first stop and that just got us warmed up. Down the street, it's like in the main district and it was a lot of fun because the paraphernalia that's in there is incredible or memorabilia. And guess what? Big Steelers fan, big Pittsburgh girl here, and we were in there and we found it inside of this place. And Jen? This is Sammy C's Rock and Sports Pub and Grill. Sammy C's is the largest collection in almost 200 miles of sports and rock and roll memorabilia. It's great for every age. They serve lunch and dinner and even breakfast on Sundays. We kept our walk going and I love seeing all the different things around the city. And this is just right in the downtown center. Do you remember where we were? Oh, that mural. That mural's on 2nd Street and Cole Avenue. Some of the best photos are if you cross the street and you take a look. This is about Navajo history in our region. And then we had these awesome sandwiches. Now, the same person that has these sandwiches has a coffee shop, which we visited both. Neither of the names can I recall because I'm so bad with names, but I can tell you to go find food, but Jen, so we have two different places. You're talking about Gallup Coffee Company, which is a New Mexico True certified coffee that they roast in the front window, as well as Flavor Saver. Flavor Saver, those sandwiches are really good. They roast their turkey, they roast their meats, they've got fresh vegetables, everything in the store. And you can tell the place is really alive in Gallup and you can hear all the noise around us, but that's the fun of this. And so we didn't care where we had our chit chat, but we want you to see this beautiful environment. And then, all right, so at night, we wanted to calm things down a little bit because we're really active and it was really warm. And Jen took us up to see some Native American dancing. I don't know, what do you call this? That's right. So this is the Roach Family Dancers. Every night from May through September, we have nightly Indian dancers in the heart of our downtown. So these were powwow dancers dancing in front of our historic courthouse. So that was another great piece of culture for the kids. And of course, you'll find these signs along the way. And I just had to snap that welcome to Gallup so that you feel welcome and we can tell you where we were. Do you know where that one was? Um, that sign, it looks like we're headed towards your hotel and we're headed to a Red Rock Park. Um, that is the city of Gallup sign. You're gonna see those at all of our major highway entrances because we've got four of those. So. And then we did this really cool night hike. So everybody should wear their hiking boots and we got ourselves together and Jen will tell you what time and where, but we went up a trail. There were some steps. It was challenging. It's definitely not for the lighthearted, but I know it was a mile and a half and the pictures turned out awesome. So Jen, where did we go? So Red Rock Park has not one but two incredible hiking trails. One is the Pyramid Rock Trail. That is where we went. And from the Pyramid Rock Trail, you can see the other church rocks. So you see these two incredible views. There's a thousand foot up, so you're gonna see all these vistas of Gallup, Fort Wingate, and more. And then the next day, we had this really great experience. We got to be part of the balloon crew. Again, we went back to Red, Red, what, wait, we went back to Red Rock Canyon? Red Rock Park. Red Rock Park. Red Rock Park. That's actually, TMS Family Travel is going to have their conference there. So it's going to be really exciting and you guys will get to see what we did while we were there. But this was Balloon Crew for Truly New Mexico, which is a beautiful black balloon with a sugar skull on it. And of course, no part of a trip would be done without a little bit of shopping. But there's a lot to know here. And it's not just about going out and buying a piece of turquoise jewelry. You need a little bit of education. And while I don't quite remember again where we were, Jen, where'd we go and see all the turquoise? We went to Tanner's Indian Arts. It's a fifth generation trader in our region. Well, that it was really interesting. We learned so very much about not only the Native Americans, but how trading developed. And then we went ahead and took off. Oh, we also met Joe Tanner. Is that yep, Joe correct? Tanner. He was actually there. Iconic, so pretty kind of cool. And then we went to Perry Knoll Trading and Pond. So this is where we did a little bit of shopping. And what is cool about this is not just shopping. Not only do you see the stuff with one price in the case and then they give you another price, which is amazing. And my daughter scored some really great buys there. She has the cutest earrings. Uh, we also went in the back um, and then 
I don't even know there are, but there's saddles stored in the back. But let me let Jen explain this because I'm not doing a really great job, but I can tell you there have to be at least 2,800 sandal saddles in that room. This is one of my favorite moments from today. Nico, where Nico travels, if you look him up on Instagram, he tried to calculate how many saddles were back there. Gallant Pond isn't pond like anywhere else. Gallant Pond is a safety deposit box for the valuables for all of the native tribes in our region. Saddles, buckles, and more. So these guys got a tour of the saddle pond vault where there were hundreds of rodeo saddles. Yeah, it was pretty darn incredible and a lot of leather smell back there. And it's travel goes together with food. It's just like mustard and ketchup. You have to do it. And so we stopped and had delicious Mexican eats. Now here's how I gauge a place. You know I'm a total foodie and if the door keeps opening, I love it. If I say it's busy, it's a blessing, not something sinful. But where did we go today for we Mexican? Were Anthony's A Taste of the Southwest. So they had several great meals for us today and then with any great day, in the heat, in a, uh, um, in a gallop, what happens is it gets really, really warm, and as I understand it, there's always a storm. But Summertime, we have monsoon season, so we were to drought this winter, but now is a great time of year because you can come, you can hike in the morning, might rain in the afternoon, it cools everything. And I kind of think we covered a lot of territory, but there's so much more for you to see. And while I'm not the names person with the places, I know everything we've seen has been completely family, interesting, cultural, and history. And Jen, if you need the guru, all you have to do is go to, what's your website? We have gallopreeltrue.com. We're also on Facebook and Instagram at gallopreeltrue. So just reach out to her on those pages and ask her questions. And you can always hit me up at damevento at gmail.com. And if you're coming to TMS Family Travel Conference, this is all the stuff you're going to experience. And we can't wait to see you. Absolutely. This November, I hope you'll apply to come out. And if you aren't coming for a TMS conference, you got to bring your family. We're right on I-40 Route 66. Make a road trip. So this was Girlfriend Chat with Dana and Jennifer. See you later.